Lego. Star Wars. Quiet Weird. A creation. A masterpiece. It is in times like these, during a sophomore project, that young creatives can stretch their wings. This is the ultimate manifestation of human creativity. Pulling inspiration from architects such as Louis Kahn, Frank Gehry, I. M. Pei, and Vitruvius. Small hints and homages to their works are present in every corner. And now, from the master builder, Wyatt Weir. My goal in this project was to embrace the challenges of designing a structure of this size. To do this, I would try to make the influences of the architects I researched present everywhere. From Louis Kahn and Vitruvius, I learned that the scale should be immense and proportional to its function. Yet, at the same time, it should remain functional and innovative. I learned that from Ian Pei and Frank Gehry. Now, let me give you a proper tour. Now, you've already seen the outside and gotten a general sense of the size of the structure. But now we're in a hallway, and the hallways run through the entire structure, making it very open, making every room easy to access from anywhere in the building. Putting the stairways at the end, I wanted to make sure that they would not be cumbersome. Here is the side profile of the base. As you can see, I added a small fin and this actually serves an important architectural purpose. Not only does it bring in light, which is something I learned that is pretty important, but it also keeps the building from collapsing by giving it more support and sort of a counterweight to the floors. Moving to the lower deck, this is the engine room. This is where all the electronics are and all the power generators and such for the base. I put a lot of work into wiring it and making sure the lights actually work and they actually do light up the space. Now here is the aeroponics bay. As you can see you can look down at the water purifier and sort of control it if anything is going wrong. Here we have the command room. I felt that this is very important to have lots of natural light through the windows and also it's centered in the middle of the building, meaning it overlooks the entire outside of the structure. Here's the top floor hallway. It goes into the first exterior door and also the medical room. That joins into more hallways that overlook the armory and also connect up with the left wing of the building. I wanted to create an open space to kind of be able to grasp the size and also be able to view the downstairs floor from above. This is a more detailed look on the actual medical facility. As you can see, there's lots of natural light as that has been proven to help in recovery. Also, features like this I've made to improve the playability and sort of give it a more realistic feel. Moving back to the right of the room, this is the receptionist desk. It's surrounded by many windows and I wanted to give it the light color to make it more welcoming. This is the main staircase that goes down into the armory from the command deck. This room is centered in the building and has no external access, making it the most protected room. I also wanted to give it lots of space and so that way people could move around and pick up weapons and whatever they needed. Now this is the interior control room. This looks into the main entrance from the outside, the big doors and where all the vehicles would be stored. As you can see, I would put a lot of detail into the paneling and making sure that the window was big enough to view it. There's also a sliding door and yeah, I thought that was a really neat thing to add. It's pretty functional too, but there's no electronics involved in it. Thank you for being a part of my journey, and this has been my sophomore project.